we've got a great lineup. Uh, first semi final, Abhishek Verma from India. The Indians have had a great season. It's continuing here, but this is his first showing. Uh, and a World Cup has made the final four, going up against someone who's got nothing to lose. Yeah, he's going to shoot against uh, Lucas Abreu um, from Brazil, uh, who, as you've said before, is. Uh, um, showing that uh, compound archery is back uh, in Brazil. Uh, the, since 2008, nobody else has uh, gotten to the final fours. So, uh, interesting final lineup. On target number one, representing India, representando India, Abhishek Verma. On target number two, the black judge for this matchup is El Juez del Partido Klaus Lugman. Compound men's semi-final number one about to get underway here in Medellin at the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. Cool as a cucumber, both of these two. Abhishek Verma from India taking on Lucas Abreu from Brazil. This, is, this one's just a bit too cool for school. Yeah, it almost seems like it. Um, they both have a lot of confidence going into this match um, where Abhishek Verma um, is just known for being amazing in uh, compound archery and then Lucas he basically can just he can only win uh, nobody expects him uh, to win the World Cup beforehand uh, he gets here does really well gets to the final four and now he can just you know try to go the full mile appearance uh, Abhishek Verma in uh, a final four. Take two golds and a silver in those three previous Nine. appearances. So Three. he's made it through the semi finals. in the bow of Lucas than there is in the bow of Abhishek. Uh, you can see that Abhishek kind of just pulls back, goes into anchor and he settles down, whereas Lucas is actively trying to aim in the middle of the field. Certainly a much better start from Verma already with a three point lead. Just appeared in Colombia in 2016, Verma. Said part of the competition. Went out to uh, a uh, countryman of yours. Which was perfect, no less. In the yeah, and uh, to uh, get it back at this time in the quarterfinals, he beat Mike Slusser. So uh, in, the, in the highest scoring match of the quarterfinals, uh, they went to a shoot-off. Both shot a 10, but uh, Abhishek shot a better 10. And then, uh, uh, the comment, he just went top 10. Do you remember the last Brazilian to make the final four? Uh, Robert Val dos Santos in uh, 2008, I think. And do you remember where it was? Uh, probably Antalya. Orange, Croatia. Mm. I know, but what was the the first Brazilian archer? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> now that's not the way this works. I ask the questions, you're here as the expert. <laughs> Rabbit hole is not one I'm going <laughs> down. I'm afraid to find it. It was also Robert Val dos Santos in 2006 in Antalya. There you go. Well, already Lucas Abreu has a battle on his hands. Three behind going into the second end. <laughs> will settle his nerves. Yeah. <laughs> Really, really tight group there from Abhishek. Um, if I were his coach, I'd probably tell him to uh, move his sight maybe two or three clicks down, just Nine. like as a mental 
mental side change, but it's very minimal. No, maybe. Maybe it's good that his coach didn't listen to me because he might have shot an 8.9 rather than a 9.0 there if he did. Really nice to see uh, the mental approach of uh, Abhishek there, where his second arrow, he, he knew that was going to go outside of the tent, and he just accepted it and went on to the next. What's interesting here as well is that uh, Gus doesn't have a coach in his coach's box, but there are two people sitting in the stand, so uh, I'd say he could just ask somebody to stand in the coaching box for him, unless he didn't want that, so I don't know if it's a deliberate choice to not have anybody in his coaching box, but he did communicate with the people in the stand, so a, a, a little bit of an interesting situation here, uh, if, if it's up to me. Just work for him this week. Uh, he's not had someone directly behind him. He's, he's happy with his own company. Well, the deal in the the situation yeah, very interesting. You know, there's a couple of people against. Uh, well, there's a few people against watching in the crowd, but directly behind him. Uh, there's a couple of people there uh, giving him some direct instructions, you have to think. Yeah, so uh, interesting situation, but uh, we don't know the context, so. Yeah. Just interesting. Well, we have a three point deficit here. Lucas has some work to do, and he has found the middle of the target now. A longer hold than uh, what he typically does, but it seems like he can get away with a longer hold because he's just really steady and there's no weird movement going on. It seems like Lucas is also steadies his nerves a bit. Really only that one stray arrow from Abhishek there. The rest is all pretty much on a, on no, a dime. No, no, no. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. Second yes, 30 yes, for yes. Verma, and uh, despite the 29 and a, a lot more oh, solid performance score. in that a third end for Lucas Abrio. Richard Verma has uh, opened the gap but even further. Six. A four point lead for the Indian. But. Look at Abrio. It's looking pretty cool. There's a confident. Yeah. To our ship, Verma, though. One arrow drifting up. I know it's just cutting the line, and he's going to get the 10 for that. But uh, veering off to that line, that, like I say, was a 9.0. Yeah, it seems like all of the arrows that are not in the middle for him go the high and left. Uh, but then we're basing this on two arrows that haven't gone in the super tight group of his, so it, it might be that it's just a coincidence. The only difference will be the color. Who's going to go into the gold medal match? And who's going to shoot the gold match? Go into the fourth round of this compound then, semi final number one. You can just see the, the difference in the shape but also the size of the groupings on their targets. If you look at the group of Abhishek when you see his arrow hit the target, as he expands his group size a little bit, um, <laughs> there's 
there's just like a cluster of tents, uh, low tents, and then a couple of arrows where Lucas just has a bigger group where like half of the arrows are in the tent, half of the arrows are not. So different, different type of group. So what that typically means is that uh, Abhishek is either shooting a good shot or not that good of a shot. Whereas Lucas is just shooting like, really decent shots um, and sometimes hitting the tent, sometimes not hitting the tent. So it's a maybe a bit of a difference in uh, level of experience. Very much showing himself in the scores. A uh, four point lead at this stage. Uh, a mountain climb. Oh, who's that? Muscling their way up indeed. The matchup. Abhishek Verma with a confident position. Nice. Looking strong coming into end at number five. With a numerical advantage. Approaching the vice. What can Lucas Abreu do? Lucas Abreu is strong. I like, I like the that. Matchup. Lucas Abreu in terms of his attitude and he looks really comfortable and just trying to really enjoy it whatever the outcome of seeming. Yeah, he's definitely taking it all in and, uh, and seeing it as experience rather than something he has to do or something he needs to win. Uh, obviously he's trying to win but uh, I think he's mostly here to just grasp it all in and, and, and see how far he can get. Different story on the other side of the shooting line. It's uh, all business for Verma, his uh, only stage appearance this season. And he's trying to grasp it, grasp it with both hands. A win here. And we'll see him at the finals. Uh, a win, obviously, not just in the semi finals, but in the gold medal match as well. And he's very much looking like he's in pole position for that, unless something goes very badly wrong. Lucas Abrio perhaps rehearsing the bronze medal match now. I feel like he is growing into the match a bit. He's getting more comfortable um, shooting pretty stable shots compared to the first ones. Um, I think he's just a bit late to this party uh, to still get back into this match. Again, all of his really good arrows are all in that little cluster in the low ten. Nine, moving. And it's it's just it shows to me that he is just shooting really good shots, and sometimes there is one thing in his shot that doesn't really go quite as well. Verma in control. Verma finishing with a perfect 30, and uh, he finishes at 148, dropping just two points through a very impressive semi-final. 148 out of a possible 150 is more than enough for Abhishek Verma to confirm his place in the gold medal match in Medellin. And will the Indian story continue here in Colombia?